Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. Today we're gonna try out a palette that's new to me um, and it's the Rare Beauty Mini Eyeshadow Palette in Sincerely Me and I'm very curious to try this out. This is what it looks like. I haven't heard too many great things about the Rare Beauty formula but this was on sale and it's a nice mini palette so I really wanted to try it to see what my opinion of it is. Obviously when other people don't like it, it doesn't mean that I am not going to like it so that's why I really wanted to try it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the shade, I think this is Gracious, I think. I never know how to read packaging. I don't know why. It's just like makes me doubt myself so much. But this is like a yellowy mustard shade, as you can see. That applies nicely. I like that. Okay, done. You know, I expect maybe it's also like having low expectations because I saw a lot of reviews about. This palette not being good. A lot of YouTubers saying like it's nothing special. It's patchy. It's like not not good. And not necessarily this palette, but like the Rare Beauty formula. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be something. But actually, I like it so far. I mean, it's a very nice like bright mustard that applies the way it looks in the pan. And that you can even deepen up by itself, as it seems. But now I'm going to go into the other matte shade, which is called Cardinal. Okay, okay, that is a thing I can see with both of the shades so far, but especially with that reddish purpley shade. They are powdery, so it will fly everywhere. Although I do have to say this is also not the greatest brush, because this brush makes... A lot of eyeshadows look quite powdery, um, but I, again, don't mind a powdery eyeshadow as long as it doesn't end up on my chin. I don't mind when a shadow is a little bit more powdery. And these are powdery, but they don't seem to kick back on the eyes, which is my only thing that makes me not like, uh, you know powdery eyeshadows and this doesn't do that so we're fine okay that looks really good and was very quick so so far so great i am gonna do glitters today because i waited with using this palette until in an occasion that i could actually wear glitters but first i want to do just like a normal shimmer base and then put the glitters over i think that is what i want to do I'm going to just apply a little bit of that base. Not glue, it is glue, but like just a little bit. I'm going to take that purple shade and put it in the outer part. Okay. It's kind of weird. Why does it look weird? Maybe it's just a shift. Okay, and then we're going to take that lighter shade. That lighter, almost like, well, it is a gold shade. Oh, wait, let me tell you. I used this and then this, and now I'm using this. And now this golden shade in the inner half. Okay, I do get that this color combo is kind of weird. It is kind of weird to me, this color combo. But now I'm going to put the glitter on and maybe that will pull the entire look together. You never know. So I'm going to take the glue and like pat it on. You need to pat this glue because if you rub, it rubs off the entire eyeshadow underneath. 
I'm gonna take a brush, see if I can pick this glitter up with a brush. Nope, okay, then we're gonna take our finger and apply glitter over the glue. Okay, it's a little much still. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more glue and I'm going to apply the glitter a little bit more all over. I have to say I like every shade in this palette on its own. I just don't know if I like the gold with the purple and the glitter, personally. I do like the look of the glitter and the purple. Yeah. Okay, this is better. Much, much better. Let's key lean off the fingers and do the same thing on the other eye. But first, let me do liner and mascara on this eye because then we won't have glitters falling all over our face. And let's put on a little layer of mascara already. Not too much, but just a bit. Just to, you know, hold the glitter and then we'll do a little bit of like evening out later. Um, let's do the other eye. I'm going to do the other eye of camera and then come back to you to talk about it. And we're back. Okay, so I put on liner, mascara. Let's look. Everything's kind of even. Yes, it is. And I put on a lipstick. This is... One of my favorite lipsticks of all time, weirdly enough. Oh, my hands are gross. Um, and it's a really old one as well, so that's maybe why it feels so weird to me. This is the H&M, or like really old. It's one that nobody talks about, let me say it like that. It's the H&M Lady of the Manor uh, lipstick, and it's like a beautiful, dark, more like 90s brown. So this is the finished look with this mini palette. Let me do a quick review of it first i do really like the mattes that is something i do like i also like both of the shimmers i just don't think i like them together so this i think could be really pretty if you just like blend out the mattes a bit more and then that in the inner like half of the eye and that purple could be beautiful as well but you would need like another inner corner shade maybe and i would be a little bit heavier heavier on this shade and a little less heavy on that shade when i would use this again the glitter is gorgeous and really pulls the look together. So first I was like, do we need all five of these shades? I do think so, um, because it really makes for a beautiful eye look. And I would use this more often. What I also like about the glitter is it applies really nicely. It's not falling all over my face. And I think it's a glitter, but not on steroids. So it's a glitter that I could even see myself maybe using to work or like something like that because it's not too you know scary glitter ish so what was that oh i just dropped my glitter low we'll get get to that later but this uh, is the rare beauty mini me sincerely no mini sincerely me mini eyeshadow palette and i am actually really happy with it i'm happy that i own it and you'll see where it ranks in my upcoming 10 palettes a month ranking video so if you like that kind of video stay tuned for that and i'll see you in my next one bye